Good morning students and welcome to our YouTube channel NAM Mentory Model School. So, in the previous video, we are just going through the exercise and we have just read to the true or false. Okay students, let us see first of all that. So here, in the exercise, question number 4. That is true or false. Okay, here. Some aquatic animals have lungs. Okay. Some aquatic animals have lungs. True or false? Then it is true. Yes. First one, it is true. Then after, stomata are usually found on the underside of the leaves. That is also true. Yes, they are found inside the underside of the leaves. So second one is also true. Third one, all animals have limbs. So here, animals, all the animals have limbs? No, they do not have limbs. So here it is false. Fourth one, that is, the lions in the rainforest climb up supporting trees in search of sunlight. Yes, that is true. So here it will be true. Fifth one that is <clears throat> tree in temperate region share their leaves at the beginning of the summer. No, it is false. Sixth one. Some plants are annual, some are penantial. Yes, that is true. Okay. So, please write down the answers of true or false. Okay, then after we will understand the question answers. Okay students, here moving towards the question answers. So here first question is what are amphibians? So here you just take your page number 145. Page number 145 in that in the last paragraph you can see animals such as frog that live both on lands and in water are called amphibians. So water quality amphibians means the animals which live on land as well as on water. They are known as the amphibians. And second question that is, do carnivorous animals also depend upon plants? Yes. No. The carnivorous animals do not depend upon plants. They are depend on the other animals' flesh. Okay. Then after, where do plants store? Food here. Where does the plant store food? Here they store in the different different parts of the body. Okay, different different parts. Here you can see it is written. Here in the page number 147, you can see it is written the they store food so, sorry some plants such as carrots which to store extra food in the roots some such as sugar can potato ginger store extra food in the steam grapes and apple store extra fruit uh, food in the fruits means they just store the food in the different parts okay then other one that is why do animals move about? So the animals move about to in search of what? 
in search of shelter and in search of food the animals move then after how do you know that plants also feed here how we know that plants feel so if we just talk about the sunflower so what happens they just go according to the sun okay and touch me not plant you can see that if you just touch it just get close so from that you can see the plants move and also the some parts of the plants moves like stem <coughs> branches and that all just moves with the help of wind then after what is grafting so here it was written on the page number here on the page number 150 it is written in grafting a stem is cut and attached to the stem of the other plant plant and planted in the soil the new plant that grows will have the characteristics of the both plant so that is known as the grafting process okay then after question number 6 that is answer in a paragraph that is list any three differences okay between animals and plants so from the page number 145 here there are six differences given so from that you have to write any of the three okay then after what is respiration how do animals breathe here the respiration which is on the page number 145 it is written respiration is the process by which animals and plants take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide that is the respiration process then coming towards the animals that are terrestrial animals breathe through their lungs reptiles and birds also have lungs mammals breathe through nose and then coming towards the aquatic animals they have gills lungs okay that all the things and also breathe through their skin and coming towards the amphibians animals that they live on both on land and on water so when they are on the land they breathe through their lungs and when they are in the water they breathe through their uh, skin okay students now moving forward how do plants show movement so here you can see in the page number 147 plants do not move from place to place but certain parts of the plant show movement okay so that should be written then coming towards the next question how do animal respond to stimuli so the animal respond quickly to the stimuli why because they have different different sense organs then after what are the different way to in which plants reproduce so first is seed then coming towards grafting layering then the other other things are there so it is written the seeds uh, most plants reproduce through seeds the seeds germinate in the soil and grow into young plant some plants can reproduce by other ways for example cutting from the stem through buds that appear on the edge through runners from the underground stem of the mother plant or from the roots of the mother plant so here we have just completed the chapter number 1 okay if you have any doubt then you can contact me and now starting to the second chapter okay moving towards the next chapter that is adaptation in plants and animals the chapter number 2 chapter number 2 that is adaptations adaptations in 
plants and animals okay adaptations in plants and animals so first of all what is adaptations let us see that what is adaptations so if i just tell in we just live in sea earth okay so there is some weather condition okay the atmosphere has some specific value of humidity in this area okay so what happens we are just adapt with this atmosphere which is there in the sea earth okay so if i just tell any of your class that you just have to stay in the jammu kashmir for few months then you will say sir there will be more cold over there and you will say something but when you just go there and you will live what happens after some time means after year two year there will be some adaptations in your body that you can live in jammu kashmir where there is more cold more winter okay what happen in if i say that you just have to stay in the east like uh, odisha or sikkim so there is also some weather condition different from here and if i say that you have to just go to the south and you have to just live in the tamil nadu or kerala over there and also there will be problem because there is a different weather conditions over there so as the you can't live from here to if you just have to move from gujarat to the jammu kashmir then you have some problem for few months and then after uh, uh, the body will adapt some of the things over there but the jammu kashmir people when just they come over here then they also can't live because there is more cold the temperature is low and here the temperature is high so they have some uh, temperature problems over here so they can't live okay so there are some of the adaptations in animals and plants in as i have just given in the example of human being now moving over there so here adaptations adaptations which is our first topic adaptation that is animals and plants found in all kinds of environment and in all kinds of climatic regions on land and in water over thousands of years they have developed certain features that enable them to live in their environment in fact the basic principle of nature is survival of the fittest to survive animals and plants have to be fit and be able to adapt themselves to their surrounding some adaptation feature in animals are as follow here so for animals also there are some weather condition which they have adapt by themselves okay they just move from one place to the another place how but in search of shelter food but they will not go out of the range where there is change in uh, weather conditions or some of the thing other things but there are some of the birds which just migrate from one place to the another place how when we will just study in this chapter only now there are some of the adaptations of the animals let us see that so here first is first adaptation that is defensive mechanism defensive mechanism as seen in the shank which which squids a false man a false smelling liquid 
such as deer, buffalo, and a little of have horns to protect themselves okay to protect themselves here you can see animals means the animals which hunt the other animals they have what they have sharp teeth and claws they have sharp teeth and claws and the animal which is to be hunt like what deer buffalo and that also they have horns to protect themselves in horns means if we just say in gujarati means singara so okay so they have just that to protect themselves okay so here you can see there are different different things given by the god to the different different animals now moving towards the fourth one here coming towards the camouflage fourth one that is camouflage let us see that Now, fourth one. That is camouflage. That is the storm. is usually reddish brown reddish brown in color but in the northern northern latitude you latitude when it is snow it snows during winter during winter the stored has a snowy white full white full coat that blends 
with the background this is called camouflage okay a type of adaptation a type of adaptation okay students so here a camouflage is a type of adaptation okay here what happens it is written a spot is usually reddish brown in color okay they are just reddish brown in color you can yes then after what happens in the northern latitude means in the northern side what happens when it snow during the winter the spot has a shiner uh, sorry the spot has a snowy white fur coated that blends with background means they are of reddish brown in color when there is a winter in the northern latitude what happens they just match with the color of the snow and have a fur on it okay students now we just keep up to here in homework what you just do is homework you just write down four adaptations four adaptations of animals okay which four adaptations which i have written in the board okay students the first which which has given first adaptation second third and fourth which i have written in the board that you have to write down in your homework okay students so we will meet in the next video okay bye students